Well, hello again, fellow RC enthusiasts. It's your host, Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC, here for another NX6 quick tutorial. In this one, we're gonna show you how to utilize the USB port on your NX6 or NX8 or NX10. The USB port is not just for charging your radio, it's also an interface between, like I have here, between your computer and your NX radio. It can act as a simulator dongle, so you can plug it in and use it for your popular simulators like Real Flight, Velocidrone, Liftoff, any simulator that can take a game controller kind of interface, essentially. Otherwise, another thing that you can do with the USB function is you can use it to communicate with the internal memory on your NX radio. It has about two gigabytes of internal memory that you can use to store models and firmware downloads and presets and telemetry logs and everything like that and transfer them between your computer and your radio and vice versa. So first up, let's go ahead and discuss how to set it up for a simulator. So what I have done on my radio, and we'll go ahead and get a little closer to it here. So we're down here at my radio. I'm gonna change my color palette because I feel like it's a little easier to see when you're in a black and white one for you guys. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to get into this USB mode, and by default, it's gonna be like this. You're gonna to go to USB settings. It's gonna be down here near the bottom. And by default, it's gonna be on inhibit you see that there. And when you click on that and you scroll to the right, you can choose game controller. That's what you can use with simulators. So that's the mode that you'll turn on if you wanna use it with the sim. So on RealFly in particular, there will be some setting changes that you're gonna to need to make. So what I would suggest is creating a blank model and starting to kind of match it up with the sticks. So if you're looking at this little diagram or representation of your radio, make sure that the sticks are all matching and then go through the calibration and controller features. So if you go to calibrate and you can even edit the controls here and then you just move everything around selecting the input as you deem fit. There are up to seven inputs on the NX6 that you can use to your advantage. Real simple. Um, there are other videos on how to set up radios that, for real flight that you can check out if you find like you need to, need to do so. Next up, let's talk about how you use the storage on your NX6, NX8, or NX10. Let's go ahead and move my radio, computer off to the side, and we're gonna look at this menu here, the USB settings menu once again. All right, so simply just go to system setup, and you're gonna go to USB settings again, and this time you're just gonna say access internal storage. Leave it on this screen while you are accessing the internal storage. And there you have it. Here are all the files that I have stored on my NX6. I have the bind and flies uh, templates that are already pre-stored on there and you can store more if you like and it will be in that section on the radio. Same with templates. So if you have templates saved on your radio, that's another portion that you can put that. And if you need to store and transfer the firmwares, they are something that you can do as well. And if you're done with them, you can go ahead and delete them like I am here. One last thing that I wanna mention, and this is specific to the NX10 radio, which I don't have in my hands, but I do have the magnetic USB cable that it comes with. And you guys might be curious, oh, can I transfer and use that for simulators? And yes, you can. It can be used as a communication device between your radio and your computer. So you just plug in the magnetic connector there, snap on that, and now you can use it as you would a regular USB cable. All right, and that's it for the USB settings menu on the NX6, NX8, and NX10. If you guys have any other questions or if there are other NX related tutorials that you'd like to see, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. This is Tom signing off. Happy flying, everybody.